Okay, we have an 897 that has very bad filters. You can see how fuzzy they are. There we go. Sure sign that those things are as green inside as they are white on the outside. Okay, this radio has two problems. <clears throat> One, receive sensitivity is terrible. And the other is no power output. Okay, and now for the real test to prove it is in fact the filters, you can see that we are at uh, 7 megahertz. We're in the FM mode. I have my, my meters now cranked up. I always run two meters so that I have verification. This one's two, they're both of these are 250 watt scale. FM, no problem, 100 watts. Single side band. Just a real quick note here. Um, when it comes to the filter replacement, this is the section right here where the filters are soldered to the board. And I strongly advise not doing this unless you absolutely have the experience and the tools. There are parts here. Matter of fact, I can't even, this is zoomed all the way in that it's hard to even show some of these parts. They're so small. There's a lot of area around here and these, these filters require quite a bit of heat, et cetera, to get them out. So um, <clears throat> you can look at it this way. Uh, I charge $83 to replace these filters. And if you screw up the, the, this board right here, trying to take them out yourself without the right equipment, et cetera, uh, you're looking at about a $600 repair. Okay, we're uh, at halftime here. You see the filters are out. That's all the plated through holes. Everything's cleaned and prepped and ready for the new filters to be installed. Oh yeah, there's a better zone. Everything's gotta be nice and clean and the holes are nice and open because those little tiny tabs can easily be folded over if these holes aren't open. And you'll think the filter's in and connected and it's not. Okay, here we have the new filters in. I've tacked the PC board down in place just to, I don't want to put it all together until I get it tested out electrically. But that's what the new filters look like installed. And, okay, here we are, CW mode, just like before. The only thing that's been done to this radio is I replaced the ceramic filters. That is 100 watts on CW. Single sideband. So before where there was one watt. Okay, we now have the radio hooked up to the signal generator. And let's see, we're set at minus 127 dBm. That's as low as the signal generator will go. Seven megahertz. Radio is a seven megahertz, so if we dial down here, there's the signal. Before I change these filters, again, only change the filters, nothing else, it required that level of signal to hear. And it's deafening. And we got signal, S meter signal.